Hi everybody, so we're about to get to the end of the Civil War. We know the causes of the Civil War, slaves, slavery, states' rights, Lincoln being um, brought into the presidency. We know the first battle, Fort Sumter. We know the bloodiest battle, the Battle of Antietam. We know the Battle of Gettysburg, which uh, was a three day long battle, which led to the Gettysburg Address where Lincoln uh, dedicated the land that the battle was on to be a giant cemetery. We learned about the Emancipation Proclamation, which ended slavery in the United States. We also know that prior to the war, the South had succeeded. They had left the country and started their own. Uh, in the last video, you learned about Sherman's March, where he destroyed everything in total war, destroyed everything from Atlanta to Savannah, Georgia, uh, burning down whole cities and farms. Today we are talking about the end of the war. So we are talking about um, the meeting at the Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia where General uh, Grant from the Union or the North Side met with General Lee, the general of the South Side, and this is where the South officially surrendered the war. Um, there was a battle in Appomattox in Virginia. Uh, about 600 people died total, 400 on the South, 200 on the North. And this is when the South wanted to surrender. So they found the closest courthouse, which happened to be the Appomattox courthouse. Uh, so for this little lesson, we're gonna do a quick read. You'll do a quick little Google form and that will be that. So the war ends. Um, we're going to just skip down to here. So Grant, the North, General of the North, Grant's soldiers moved quickly to surround Lee's army. Lee is the Southern General. Uh, Lee told his officers, there is nothing left for me to do but to go and see General Grant, and I would rather die a thousand deaths. On April 9th, 1865, General Lee, in full dress uniform, arrived at Wilmer McLean's house in the village of Appomattox Courthouse. He was there to surrender his army to General Grant who met him in a mud splattered and crumpled uniform. Grant's terms of surrenders were generous and enabled Confederate soldiers to go home if they promised to discontinue the fighting. So he said, uh, your Southern soldiers, they can go home if they promise to stop the violence. He allowed the soldiers to return home with their own horses and mules, which they would need for spring plowing and officers were permitted to keep their swords and weapons. Additionally, Grant ordered that food be sent to Lee's men. Lee accepted the term. So Grant, when this was all happening, uh, General Grant from the North was very giving. It is extremely rare to have anyone surrender and then their enemies say, keep your weapons, just go home, keep your horses, just stop fighting, just go home, and I'll give you food. So rare. As... Um, Lee returned to his headquarters. Union troops began to shoot their guns and cheer wildly. Grant told them to stop celebrating. The war is over, he said. The rebels are our countrymen again. So General Grant was uh, very diplomatic and he had very strong morals. And uh, he really believed that the South was, they were Americans, they just, uh, we're fighting for a different cause at the time. So the Civil War is officially over. The South had surrendered. The North had won. Uh, that's the most important thing that you really need to know out of this lesson is that the North had won. So there's uh, no, so there'll be a short Google form from, actually, there's no Google form for this one. Uh, all you gotta know is that the North won. That's the most important part from this little video. Uh, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!